My name is Lucky Nico, and I'm the CEO and founder of Miskesho. Miskesho was founded with the necessity to create affordable apparel and accessories for the growing middle class in Tanzania. Um, we discovered that there weren't as many options when it comes to shopping for consumer goods, and we are creating a homemade brand using local raw materials to create affordable and good quality apparel and accessories. Uh, Miss Kesho is a forward-thinking brand. Um, Kesho is the Swahili word for tomorrow, and so we thought we would take that and uh, make it our brand. As we are forward-thinking, we are the brand of the future, and we are timeless. Our business model is fashion with a higher purpose. We empower young women in the community, and we work with different kinds of designers and artisans and uh, we are inspired by Tanzania as a country as it continues to grow and become in the global stage. And so that gives us the motivation to have our business and to build our business model from that, to make profit, but also to contribute towards the economy and job creation. Ms. Kesho works with young women and girls. We empower them in the field of fashion and design. We have a team of young female tailors that are very enthusiastic, um, that are working with us and they are in charge of sewing all our pieces. And uh, we also are working to empower students and the youth in general because we believe in the power of fostering a new generation of innovation and fashion design. Ms. Kesha believes in supporting the girl child. Our current initiative is with Orkolili Secondary School in Kia, Kilimanjaro, and we work with the students to train them in different facets of fashion and design. We are currently running a course on how to make accessories and how to work with beads. And uh, so far, they are very excited and we are very excited to work with them. And we would like to have more initiatives, working with more schools and more youth groups. So stay tuned for that. To find out more about Miss Kesho, please be sure to check out our socials on Instagram at Miss Kesho Fashion, on Facebook and LinkedIn at Miss Kesho Fashion. My name is Vivian, and I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Miss Kesha Fashion. Miss Kesha is inspired by the modern woman, a woman who is simple, elegant, and does not want to spend a lot of money to look good. Miss Kesha Fashion uses leather primarily because of its nature. Tanzania is the second largest producer of cattle which um, is the source of leather. And we have seen that leather has not been tapped to its fully capacity in Tanzania. So the main reason we're looking at leather primarily is to put Tanzania on the map as one of the producers second to Ethiopia. However, this is not the end. We will be looking at other raw materials that um, are going to put Tanzania on the map because it is time that we leverage the raw materials that are readily available here to get the finished products. It is true that people consider leather to be expensive and that could be true or it could be a myth depending on how you look at it. Consider it this way, here in Tanzania every product that is leather is imported and therefore there is no way it's going to be cheap. Leather itself is a quality product. It's a long lasting product. What we're trying to do is because we have the raw materials readily available here is to try and make it as affordable as possible for a Tanzanian woman, but also an African person and anyone else who fancies leather. Ms. Kesha's designs are primarily inspired by the four of us. We are diverse women, but brought together by simplicity and elegance. So when we're designing for Ms. Kesha, that is the first thing we consider. However, we're not creating clothes for just us. We're creating for the modern woman. So we do look at what does the modern woman in the world want, and therefore we curate our designs along that. Miss Kesha fashion primarily started with apparel. However, we have tapped into the accessories industry. And the first thing that we have done has been using beads. So we have created beadwork um, on the bags, elegant bags and casual bags that a woman can carry every day. But also 
Going back to leather, we are also working with uh, leather shoes where our first collection has been leather sandals, which come in white, black, nude and gold. Both Miss Kesha's apparel and accessories are readily available on our Instagram page at Miss Kesha Fashion. Please check us out and, you know, reach out. This is a newly Tanzanian brand. We aim to go far and wide. We hope that you will give us feedback and you will support us. Thank you so much. My name is Edine Emanuel and at Miss Kesho, I'm the creative director of apparel. At Miss Kesho Fashion, our design uh, inspired by nature. A part of being a designer, I'm also an artist. I love working with abstract. So mixing up abstracts and also nature, I come up with a good sign. Designing leather fabric is more challenging compared to other fabric. Because when I'm designing, I must consider on how to position the zip, but also the button to work with and the colors the design itself because in the end it should be very comfortable to the wearer but also i have also to think on the sewing machine that is going to be used to make that particular design for a person who has never tried a leather dress before i would advise to consider the weather but also the fit of the design itself for more information about leather dresses reach out to us and we are happy to advise my name is Gertrude Shaw, and in Miss Kesho, I'm creative director on accessories. My role uh, in Miss Kesho as a creative director in accessories is also to work with my other partners to bring the best for our customers. Working in accessory, we are trying to be more creative and also minimalist, uh, bringing the different touch which um, people have not really done it. And also by doing that, we also have to incorporate different kind of material. Uh, for one to be creative, you also be, need to do to to use different kind of material. In uh, accessories, we're trying to be more creative and also minimalist uh, because being creative that means we have to use different kind of material and stuff like that. And we also incorporate leather. As we can see, we have made some leather shoes and we're trying to bring some leather bags uh, in which also people, I believe, are going to be in love with them. In the beaded bag collection, we have them in cylinder shape as well as clutches. And they come in different color and as well as uh, different designs. What makes Miss Kesho accessory unique is that they are locally made with a lot of love of very high quality as well as their timeless Karibu Nisana. Naitua Helen Mlai. Nimejunga na misikesho mwaka F2 na ishina moja. Nimeanza kazi ya ufundi itokea mwaka F2 na kuna saba. Nilazima nijua kushona ili nime mbunifu. Kwa sababu, unapojua kushona, inakufanya kugundua mitindo mingi na kugundua mimbo mingi kusu mbunifu wangu. Inacho nipa motishi ya katika kazi yangu ya ufundi ni kugundua mitindo mingi ino kuja kila nyakati na kuifanyia praktiko ili niweze kuigundua zaidi na kushona nguwa mzuri zaidi. Kazi ya ufundi ina ugumu kidogo, lakini ndapo umejitoa na kuifanya kwa moyo ina kusaidia katika maisha yako. Misikesho imenisaidia kuweza kukimi maitaji yangu na kusaidia familia yangu. Na jiona mbali ni kio na misikesho sababu inansaidia kwa mbunifu, kugundua vitu vingi, kugundua mitindo mingi na kugundua pinapo kosea ili niweze kurekebisha na kuwa mbunifu zaidi katika ngo nyingi. Matiri wa ngozi na matiri wa vitamba ni matiri mbili tofauti. Ngozi unazo kashonea gauni, suruwale, sketi lakini material za kawaida unaweza kashonea topu unaweza kashonea koti na zinashoneka kwa urahisi kuliko material ya ngozi kama material ya ngozi ina ugumu kidogo lakini ndapo umeamua kuitumia inaweza kukufanya wewe kushona nguo nzuri na ikawa na muonekano mzuri changamoto tunazozipata kwa uzoefu wangu mimi kama fundi kwa kutumia material ya ngozi ni kwamba ngozi inachagua vifaa vya utumiaji kwenye ushonaji wake kama zipu sindano na pia ina hata vifungo huwezeka vifungo vya vitambaa vya kawaida kwenye nguo ya ngozi 
lazima nguo ya ngozi uweke kifungo ambacho ni imara na kigumu ili kiweze kuimili ugumu wa ngozi kwenye kitambaa cha ngozi changamoto ya vifaa ni kubwa maana material zake unazipata kwa shida na kwa nadra na ukipata unatakuwa uangalie kama ni original au fake maana ukipata material ambayo ni fake ya kushonea nguo ya ngozi nguo inakuwa sio imara maoni yangu kwa watu ambao bado hawajaijua miskesho na walio miskesho ni kwamba wategemee vitu vizuri kutoka kwa miskesho wategemee nguo classic ambazo watazitumia kwa kupendeza kwenda kwenye sherehe kwenye shughuli mbalimbali na itakuwa ni nguo bora na itakuwa kukuwa na muonekano mzuri wearing miskesho is more than a fashion statement one becomes a fashionista with a purpose